Hello and welcome to the Adam Abel YouTube channel. It's me, my feet again, walking to the car because we're doing a burger review. And the burger doesn't come with a bun. With a bun, with a roll, with a bap. So we need to go out and get ourselves a bap. I don't think anything is going to be suitable for the bap, but we'll have to have a look and see. And where are we going to look to see for the roll bap today? It's Morrison's today. We thought we'd check out Morrison's bakery aisle. So looking around the bakery aisle, there is a lot of rolls. There's a lot of bread. There's a lot of rolls. I might even have to get a small individual round loaf. But they're all multi-packs. There's six rolls. There's four rolls. But here's some individuals. I might have to get individual. I can't get a bagel. Not having a bagel. I don't want a six pack again. I don't want a four pack again. I need something on its own. Not in a multi-pack. Oh, hello. Rolls on their own. I'm going to have to get one of these rolls on its own. I've paid for it. Now I need a coffee because there's too much bread for my liking. I will drink my coffee, get back to the kitchen and cook this massive burger. So you've seen the thumbnail. Here is the box from Iceland. The one pound Big Daddy Burger. Now this is a Big Daddy cheeseburger. One pound, 474 grams, 100% British beef which can't really be true because it's got bits and pieces of cheese in amongst the meat. And it says for best results, cook from defrost after 20 hours, 45 to 50 minutes in the oven. Now, when you take it out of the box, it comes frozen in a bag. It's two patties stuck together. You don't separate those. You cook that almost like you're cooking a joint of beef. It's like a joint of beef. Let's get it out of the bag and see what it looks like out of the bag. Now you can see the bits of cheese, it's beef and it's cheese, there's cheese on the inside but there are bits of cheese in and around mixed in with the meat and onions and seasonings. There's cheese in there as well. So let's get it in the oven and let's get it cooked, see what it comes out like. Rock hard. So here it is, out the oven. You can see the bits of cheese on the outside have melted. You can see them there. You can see the cheese is oozing and a bit of grease as well. Let's get it in a burger, cut it in half and have a look. So here it is, you can see it's cooked all the way through. It's cooked all the way through, I've got a bit of onion in there. The cheese is melting in the middle, it did take 45, 50 minutes. All we can do now really is have a bite. Let's have a bite. It's as big as my head, let's be honest. That's only half the burger, it was as big as my head. There's no pleasant way of doing this, I do apologise. It's just got to go in, it's just got to go in, get a massive bite, mess everywhere as I'm chewing it. I'm gonna wipe my face and I'm gonna tell everyone what I think of it. What do I really think of the giant burger? So I think I just burnt my lip. I should have waited a bit longer for it to cool down. Anyway, is it a nice burger? Well, it weighs a lot. It says 450, 454 grams on the box. Frozen product, I don't know if it weighs that much afterwards. It didn't shrink as much as I thought it would. Does it taste all right? It's all right. I'm not doing cartwheels, but it is a monster. It is a monster. It lives up to his name. There is some cheese flavour to it, which there would be with a cheese oozing out. I just went for a toasted bun. Always toast your bun with a burger, with a little bit of onion. I didn't put any more cheese in it. It didn't need it. Some mustard, some ketchup. That's pretty much all it needed. You, if you want to add bacon to it, whatever. I just think it's too big. It's too big to add anything more to it. I'm going to have to eat it all because I haven't had lunch. I haven't had breakfast. And I don't know when I'm having my tea. But I don't think I'll need to eat again for another three days if I manage to polish it all off. But thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the Adam and Bell YouTube channel. I'll try and tackle this now.